two days after people. In New York City, the vast United Nations complex once welcomed leaders from almost 200 member countries. Their flags, arranged alphabetically from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe, still flutter along First Avenue. The 39-story Secretariat Tower looms over the cavernous General Assembly Building, where all 1,800 seats are now empty. In the UN's vast sub-basements, an eerie glow still filters through the hallways and offices. These glow-in-the-dark markers guided workers safely out of the building during the 2003 Northeast blackout that darkened New York City. They owe their glow to a substance called strontium oxide aluminate. Exposed to light, its electrons are pushed to a higher energy state. In the dark, they lose energy, giving it off in wavelengths of greenish-yellow light. The emergency lighting basically takes its energy from the regular building lights. So after the regular building lights go off, you're still going to see an eerie glow. But these markers can only glow for up to 20 hours. With no electric lights to recharge them, this vast labyrinth will soon join the rest of the city and the world in total darkness.